Hey, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm4975, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can duplicate any vehicle in GT Online to flip for some quick cash. So we all know that money in GTA Online is a little bit of a struggle and today I have got a money glitch for you. It's actually a car duplication glitch but if you have the upgraded Arena War Issy like I have here you can sell this thing for 1.6 million. Alternatively you could use any of the Arena War or Benny's vehicles and sell them for over a million dollars. Now with this method you can duplicate any vehicle you want so if you have a vehicle that you really like and you want to give it to a friend you can duplicate the car and then use a give car to friends glitch uh, to give it to them but alternatively what we're going to be using it for in this video is selling the vehicle for money. Now we use the arena war vehicles and Benny's vehicles because they have the most expensive upgrades on them. When you duplicate a car, you don't sell it for the price of the car on the website like you would normally. It's the price of the upgrades you apply to the vehicle. So the upgrades on the Arena Watt and Benny's vehicles are the most expensive, so they sell for the most. And the Arena Watt Issy is the best one out of the bunch to use, so that's what I'm going to be do doing in this video. Now, before we get started, there are a few things that you will need for this glitch. Obviously, you will need an Arena War Issy fully upgraded to duplicate. You will also need to do the Scuba Suit glitch, which you can see my character has here, which I will show you how to do in just a moment. You'll also need to have a bunker and an MOC stored inside of it. And inside the MOC, you will need a free Elegy. And finally, you will also need an Auto Shop. And inside the auto shop, you need to make sure that it is full of cars. Now, these can be personal vehicles, these can be just free elegies, or they can be vehicles that you've literally just driven off the street and stored in your auto shop. But you need to just make sure that every slot in your auto shop is full of cars. So, the first step is doing the scuba suit glitch. If you've already done this, then you can just skip ahead to the actual glitch. But for those who want to know how to do it, then stick around. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So the first thing you'll need to do is the setup. And what we're going to be doing here is the scuba suit glitch. So you will need to purchase a scuba suit from one of the clothing stores. Um, so you want to purchase a scuba suit and save it as an outfit. I've just called mine scuba. And then you want to have any other outfit. Um, and save that as an outfit so any other clothing and save it as an outfit you want to just walk into the water wearing your scuba suit and hover over the interaction menu for the other outfit and just before your character starts swimming there you want to hit um, the other outfit so um, just before it starts swimming I apply the cowboy outfit from here, go ahead and register as a CEO, and then go from CEO, management, and then down to style, and just switch your character's um, outfit here. Now, I didn't hit the glitch the first time. Um, this is what the uh, glitched outfit will look like. Your character will have flippers, they'll have a hood on, and kind of like a glitched t-shirt. And every time uh, you switch your style in the CEO um, interaction menu, you will see that your character will drop a scuba tank. So if you switch it to another outfit and back to the glitch one, they will drop an outfit, a uh, scuba tank. And this will become apparent why you need this later on. Okay guys, so once you have done the scuba suit glitch, you want to call out your MOC with your free elegy stored inside of it and park it somewhere near your custom auto shop. So mine is parked just here on the side. Then you want to go into the back of your MOC and actually take out your free elegy, take it out onto the street. 
Okay, so once you're out onto the street, you want to equip a grenade. You want to throw the grenade at the auto shop uh, garage door, drive up to it very quickly, then open up the uh, map there and zoom into it very quickly. And you'll see that as you're zooming into the map, you will explode from the grenade and you should spawn somewhere near your auto shop. So from here, just go ahead and call the vehicle that you want to duplicate. So in my case, it is the Issy, but for you, it could be whatever vehicle you decide. So I'm going to call out my Apocalypse Issy and then just wait for it to spawn. Okay, so once your car spawns, walk up to it, but just before you get into the car, you want to open up the interaction menu and make sure you open this up before you get in the car or you'll get a glitch screen and you'll have to restart the glitch. But then go ahead and drive the vehicle up to the back of your MOC. So then you want to drive your vehicle up to the back of the MOC, crash into the back of it, then wait for a second and reverse away from the MOC, wait for another couple of seconds, then drive forward, wait here, and on the quick GPS menu, just spam right on the D-pad, do this for about five seconds, then you want to hit B to close the interaction menu while still spamming right on the D-pad, and you should spawn in the MOC like I did. Now from here, you've done the hardest part of the glitch, you just want to go ahead and open up the doors on the ISSI. And because we did the scuba tank glitch, you can now go into CEO management, flick between the CEO style and your character will drop scuba tanks. Now the aim here is to block the doors of the ISSI so that you can't actually get in the vehicle without teleporting. So I'm going to go ahead and drop some scuba tanks and I'll show you what to do once we're done. Okay, so once you think you've dropped enough scuba tanks, face your character towards the door and then you want to hit A and Y at the same time and if you've done it correctly, you will spawn outside in your ISSI. Now from here, you need to save the dupe, so drive it back up to the door of the MOC, hit right on the D-pad and drive the car into the MOC and from here, you have saved your duplication. You can go ahead and sell this vehicle or put it in your garage for later now when you spawn outside of the moc there is a chance you will get this alert all you got to do hit the ps button or the xbox button on your controller and press it again to close it and the uh, glitch screen should go away and there we go we have duplicated the car now you can go ahead and sell this vehicle or you can store it in your garage to sell it later or you can keep the duplicated car to drive around whatever you want to do with it it has now been duplicated so there we have it guys that is how to duplicate any vehicle in gt online i hope this video was useful for some of you who are struggling with money and for those of you who are looking for an easy solo money making method in gt online this glitch has been around for a while but it's uh taken a few different steps and uh, it keeps changing all the time so make sure you jump on this glitch right now while it is working because it could get patched at any moment and uh, make the most of this opportunity but if you did enjoy this video it would be awesome if you could smash the like button and if you're new to the channel then make sure you subscribe i make a lot of gta content here on the channel so if that's something you enjoy then make sure you subscribe and uh, i'll see you guys all in the next video